Hi, I'm Anton and I'm the Director of Development in Sandbox. In Sandbox we have created a new category of speaker. Uh, we call it the Bluetooth Performance Speaker. Traditionally you have seen the, the Bluetooth speaker, the smaller ones, and you have also seen PA systems that are rather large and always connected uh, to the wall. And we see us being so far from both of those poles, both technically and with our experience that we provide. So we have, uh, we have now defined it as a new category, the Bluetooth Performance Speaker. So when you design a system for a maximum efficiency, uh, there will inevitably be some drawbacks with sound quality in the woofer design, in the compression driver design, and in the amplifier. And to, to solve these drawbacks, we have, we have done an intensive amount of work on the software in the product, in the DSP component. We have here worked uh, a great deal on the, on the equalizer. Uh, we have a pretty sophisticated equalizer system and we have also worked on some loudness curves and some compressor designs to make sure that the sound quality on all volume levels and the distortion uh, amount, the total harmonic distortion at all levels are not uh, disturbing for, for, for the experience for the customer. Another issue when designing battery powered speakers is that the supply voltage from the battery is not sufficient to supply the peaks the, uh, of the music signal that is required when you play at, at maximum level. To solve this issue, we have done some pretty sophisticated compressor designs, as I mentioned before, but we have also implemented a boost converter. And this boost converter will momentarily bump up the voltage to 24 volts. It will do this with very brief transitions to make sure that even when you're playing at maximum volume, because the, the nature of music is so that there's beats and there's silence, during the silence period we will go down to 12 volts to preserve power, and during the kick we will in a matter of milliseconds turn on the boost converter and bump it up to 24 volts right away. Going over to the acoustics. Here we have our pulse reflex port system, and this is essentially two tubes face towards each other with a meshed tube in between. This meshed tube uh, makes so that objects and rain will not fall as easily into the speaker. But that it's perforated makes so that both of the ports can work perfectly as, as reflex ports acoustically. It's tuned for the 80 to 120 hertz region where the air will oscillate at a huge velocity inside uh, the two reflex ports. You will actually be able to feel that when, when holding the handle. This velocity also makes so that sometimes when doing reflex port designs you will have a little bit of distortion because when the same as if you blow through your fingers then it will say a sound uh, because of the air uh, passing through your fingers. This we have solved by increasing the cross-sectional area of the reflex ports by, by, by a lot. And right now you can see that it's two rather big reflex ports meaning that the air will not create um, create what's called port noise. Um, instead, it will, it will, it will give you a, a pretty distortion-free experience, even at maximum volume. So, talking about this mesh, it is meant to keep obstacles and water out of the out of the sound box. But the sheer nature of a reflex port design is that there needs to be air diffusing through. And when air can get through, water can also get through. So, in the scenario where water will get through this mesh. Uh, we have designed all the vital parts uh, inside the sound box to be, um, to be weather resistant. So we have coated all our electronic PCBs and we have dip coated our woofer cones and we have purposely chosen plywood as it has very high water repellency. So while it's water resistant, it's not waterproof, meaning you can't fully submerge it. Going over to one of our new, very exciting um, features of the product is the team of features. It allows you to connect um, one host to four joint speakers. Originally, when we designed this, we were looking at uh, wireless technologies, and many of these wireless technologies, they work very well in a laboratory, but when you take them out there in the real world, uh, there was a lot of interferences that, that these technologies didn't take into account. Um, we though found a company from, from Canada that, uh, that provided us with a, with a really, really robust technology um, uh, called SCAR. The technology is highly robust and when you talk about wireless features, it's always a compromise of something. So we have had to compromise on the maximum limit of five speakers, but in return we have gotten this amazing robustness. To furthermore improve the robustness, we have uh, together with the Canadians, we have we've designed um, a custom pretty large uh, antenna inside the, inside the sound box. 
To further optimize the robustness, we have increased the latency. Um, so all the speakers will in a system will always be playing fully in sync, but from your input device to the, to the network, there will be a 40 millisecond latency. This, however, is not, a, not an issue um, when you normally just playback or when you use a DJ mixer, you won't be able to experience this. But if you, however, use a microphone or an active input, uh, electrical drums, whatever it could be, um, you will have an issue with this delay. This is why we have implemented an aux out. So in case you want close to no delay, uh, below one milliseconds, you can use the, the aux out and chain the speakers with the, with the cable. This pro panel is also, uh, also one of the more exciting features of the new soundbox. As mentioned, we have the aux out, so you can connect it to um, your other new soundbox. You can even connect it to your old soundbox too. Um, you also have a normal aux in, um, and then we have two XLR combo inputs. And what these XLR combo inputs are, it's basically what you, the functionality you have in a regular mixer is narrowed down to just two inputs. So these mixers, they always come with many buttons and we, have, we, we, we think this is just simply too complicated for normal people to understand. So we have taken away all the knobs and then we have implemented a nice interface in a user app uh, that you'll be able to download um, and, and control these two inputs to your liking. You can optimize it for a microphone, you can optimize it for a DJ mixer at first, and in the future there will be much more. Speaking about the app, um, we have in the new Soundbox developed a pretty sophisticated software system. It's almost like a small mini computer. And uh, from the app, you will be able to upgrade the software of your Soundbox. So in the future, we have a, a lot of exciting uh, features and improvements. However, in the meantime, if you have any questions to any specific features, please reach out to us on our email or check out our website for a little bit more information. Thanks for watching.